Wireless microphone systems have been popular with vloggers and filmmakers alike, and this is due to their flexibility, versatility, and consistent audio quality. However, most wireless microphone systems can only support one person at a time. And today we're gonna to show you a solution to that, that, <laughs> that is affordable, and it's from Saramonic, and we're using them right now. <laughs> So today we're going to be looking at the Saramonic wireless microphone system, the UW Mic 9. And like any other wireless microphone lapel system, you get one transmitter, one receiver, and a microphone. Now there is also another kit that you can get for the UW Mic 9 system, which gives you two transmitters and one receiver with two microphones, but I'll go into that into more detail later on. Now in the box, what you do get is, apart from what I've just mentioned, you do get two sets of cables. You get a neat three and a half to XLR adapter, which will work in any of your high-end cinema cameras or an audio recorder. Secondly, you do get a 3.5 to 3.5 mil cable, which will just plug into your standard DSLR or mirrorless camera. So moving on to the physical quality of the packs. So first off, I was pleasantly surprised to see that the packs are actually made out of metal and they feel quite solid. The form factor on it isn't too bad either, so packing it and taking it around everywhere will be quite easily, and it does sit quite flush when you do clip it onto a person's belt. Now, there's only one thing that I'm kind of iffy on, and it is the mic connection at the top. Now, it is a plastic connection, and it doesn't feel the best. However, it does lock the mic in securely, so it shouldn't slip out at any point. Now in terms of the actual UI on the body packs, now it's really awesome that you do get LCD screens on both the body pack, which is the transmitter and the receiver as well, which allows you to change settings such as like a headphone output setting so you can monitor audio and also you can easily match the channels on your transmitter and receiver or manually choose the channels and groups as you wish. The only thing about this though is that the menu is a bit hard to navigate at first and may be a bit confusing. However, once you get your head around it, it shouldn't be too hard and you will get a lot of flexibility and control over your audio. There are a few special features that I do like about the UW Mic 9 design-wise. So first off, if your camera doesn't have a headphone port, you can still monitor audio through the headphone port on the receiver, which is quite neat. Secondly, the belt clip is quite wide, so it's really easy to attach onto people. And thirdly, the battery tray on the UW Mic 9 makes it really simple and fast for you to change out batteries. In addition to that, it is powered by two AA batteries on each pack, so it's quite easy to find batteries no matter where you are in the world. So in terms of the actual technology for the packs to transmit, it uses a 514 to 596 megahertz UHF frequency, which can be divided into 96 channels, which is a lot of channels. And on top of that as well, they claim that it can transmit audio from 100 meters away. And what better way to test that than in a city environment filled full of radio signals and lots of other interruptions. So I'm just gonna go outside right now and we're gonna test that. As you can see, it works great. Oh my God, I get so many looks from all these randoms. <laughs> So just a quick tip, Josh and I spent at least half an hour trying to pair up the receiver and the transmitter um, together on the same channel as there is a really easy to use matching function where the receiver and the transmitter with the press of a button, they should just match. 
but we were a bit stupid and didn't realize that you had to point the infrared sensors together. So this isn't a receiver right now, which is on the camera, but what you have to do is when you open your menu and you hit the matching button, make sure to point them at each other and they'll sync up in seconds. In regards to audio quality, comparing the two Rode Filmmaker Kit versus the UW Mic 9, we did find the UW Mic 9 did highlight the voice a little bit better, as well as surprisingly reduce a little bit of the background noise compared to the Rode Filmmaker Kit. We've been using the Rode Filmmaker Kit for the past about a year or so, um, and it has done a fantastic job. The only thing we found is that it cut out just about two or three meters away, which did render the audio unusable. So comparing that with the UW Mic 9, we don't have that issue. And surprisingly, it does a really great job. This is an audio test with the Rode Filmmaker Kit with the original microphone it came with. And this is an audio test with the Ceremonic UW Mic 9 with the original microphone. For the past year, we've been using the Rode Filmmaker Kit and it has been good to us. However, a few things we didn't like about it is sometimes it did cut out at a certain distance as well as it's a little bit cumbersome um, in terms of the size. Comparing that to the Ceremonic, it is a little bit smaller. Uh, the distance is so much better as well as it can connect two microphones. So if you're doing two person interviews, it's fantastic for that. So having a system like this won't even set you back that much either. So a UW Mic 9 system, whether it's one single microphone or two microphones, it won't set you back more than $600 Australian to get you a pretty solid dual setup kit. Now, I know a lot of people don't want to be using audio recorders and attaching multiple microphones to it or doing anything in post. So I feel the UW Mic 9 system is a convenient solution for people who want the audio and video layered up for multiple people with no stress. If you have any questions on the Ceremonic UW Mic 9 system, pop them in the comments below. Make sure to follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, and our blog if you want to find out about our latest events and what's going on in store. And links to those are in our description below. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next video as we upload videos weekly. Hello? <laughs> Over. <laughs> Hello? How much do we yes? sound <laughs> <laughs>